we're, we're dealing with today um, the process of God taking a natural being and changing him into a spiritual being. This is a wonderful life, but I said something in, in this past week sharing with people how um, if you don't recognize your old self, then you deceive yourself. It, it's, I had to be honest with me, and I had to be honest with God. It's a man. It's something when you lie to yourself. Amen. Amen. I, I don't want to be saved and lie to myself. Right. Right. Pretend like everything all right. Yeah. Pretend like I got it all together. No. I got to be at least honest with myself. And then when I'm honest with myself, then I can be honest with God yes. concerning me. Yes. I can be honest with my pastor That's concerning right. me. That ain't everybody's business. Amen. Sometimes people open up to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. I heard Apostle say something this week. He said, he said, the reason why there is division and the reason why you got the cliques in the church, because when you go and talk about something, mm -hmm. you could talk about it to a person who can't do nothing to change it. Amen. But if you want to change it, you're going to talk to the person who has the authority and the power to change it. That's it. So it's gossip. That's it's a mess. That's right. If somebody say, well, you know what? I don't I don't like the way the church smells. Come on. So it's gossip, and all you're doing is trying to get some people on your side on. instead of going to the pastor and say, you know what? It's a bad smell. Right. Because if, 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 if Mother Cooper tell Mother Glory, you know what? It's thinking him. Come on. She ain't trying to get no change. No. She just, she just gossip. That's it. That's all they're doing. So when people talk to people that can't make no change, tell somebody it's just gossip. It's just gossip. It's just mess. It's mess. And then while they want to put this mess in this person and right. this person, this is this person, because they ain't trying to get it changed. They just want to talk about it. That's yes. it. Tell somebody I want to be real. I want to be real. Change by God mm -hmm. is going to hurt yeah. so good. That's right. Because he, he finna go against your very nature. That's right. Why? First Corinthians 2 and 14. Read. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Where is um, Oh, you can't be hiding behind people. I can't even see you. You behind Sister Rose, I'm gonna see you. You know how big her head is? <laughs> I'm looking for the days you know, sit over here. If you can get by, oh, no, no. You can sit if you can fit. Yeah. Read that first Corinthians 2 and 14. Read. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually the same. So, the very essence of God is going to go against the very essence of you. Mm -hmm. Ain't got time to deal with your feelings. Right. Your ideology and what you think and the way you feel. Because what? The natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God. Uh, spiritually discerned means spiritually cut off. Mm -hmm. That natural man is cut off from God. So when, when the man of God starts preaching and teaching and dealing with your attitude and dealing with, with, with you following instructions, he's going against your nature. Right. Now, you can be so deep into yourself mm -hmm. until you can't hear us. That's it. I'm talking, but you can't hear me. Wow. You, you hear with your ear, mm -hmm. but you can't hear me. That's it. First Corinthians, the third chapter, in the first verse, read and I, brethren, cannot speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal. So the natural man finna get an attitude with spiritual talk. Yes. Because now we finna hold a conversation. It's just like what I just did with, with, with AJ. Not that he didn't show no signs of being upset about it. He probably talked to me right out of the church and so forth. But 
is going to go against your nature. What is your nature? Your nature is to try to get away with as much as you can without getting caught. Yes. Yes. When you got a relationship with God, you're free to expose yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I want God to know. I want him to show yes. me myself. Yes. I ain't trying to hide nothing. I ain't trying to get away. I ain't trying to be slick with it. Right. I ain't trying to get away with nothing. Thank you. If there's something wrong, you you are a snitch on yourself. Amen. Yes. Amen. You are a snitch. That's what confession is. Yes. Right. I ain't got time to be snitching on everybody else, but you're supposed to snitch on yourself. That's right. Tell somebody you gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta be honest if you don't, if you ain't honest with yourself, you lying to yourself. Amen. And how you gonna walk with God if you lying to yourself? Tell somebody I want to be real. I want to be real. Now why? Again, we dealing with we we talk about why is this attack on the natural side? First Corinthians fifteen and forty four. Read. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Because we're talking about two different entities. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a body that was birthed through your mama and daddy. Mm -hmm. And that birth is unto death. Right. And that birth, that first birth, can adjust and conform to whatever this world make it. Right. Whatever this world make it. The world hate God people. That's right. And you coming from the world. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Everything you done learn in life of survival, how to live, how to get by, mm -hmm. how to get a high school diploma, right. how to go to college or whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, my mother, it was in her life. She, she in the education because she went to school. And, and became an RN. So her thing was, I just want my kids to go to college and get a degree. I mean, my mother not saved. So that's that was her thing. You know, right. if y'all, and, and what she describing is her terminology of success. Yeah. Because, okay, you, you had segregation, you had slavery, and so forth. So my mother, when she was a little girl, racism was real heavy. So she was raised in an environment, the only thing that made a black person be middle class would have a block home instead of a wood home right. because they went to school and became a teacher right. or some right. professional person. Yeah. And then so that was success. Or all of the rich people in town was undertakers That's or right. doctors or lawyers. So, so they were they were considered the successful people. So you had black neighborhoods where the upper class of which was middle class, lower middle class of America, was was called upper class black folks, and they all they mostly had educations. Right. If they were anything above that, it was because they was a professional athlete or something, an actor, a movie star, or something of that nature. That's the only way they would go above. They didn't see being successful through God. Mm. And then this phony perception came of church yeah. when the charismatic movement started and and men would get up and, and mold and groan and, and so and, and, and when I say certain things, people look at me certain ways yeah. because not one time have you read about it in the Bible that they did that. Come on. That's it. And even with Jesus teaching. I mean, God in the flesh, if anybody could get an option, the option is the option. It should have had in there written somewhere where God the, moved on the option of God and he went in strong. God would go to the top of Mount Sinai yes. and speak because Mount Sinai, if you ever go to the top of the mountain, a high enough mountain, all you had to do was speak and your voice would be yeah. an echo. Yeah. So the mountains was his PA system. Yeah. 
So he will be at the top of a mountain, and at the bottom of a mountain will be thousands of people. So he can stand up there and just say what he got to say, and he, they will hear it miles and miles away. And, and thank God, 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 God. First God, two miles. Second God, five miles. Second God, the next God, third mile. God, 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 God. Everybody hear what he said? Yes. Now, so, so the Lord had the elements to be his creation system. My Lord. So when somebody take the time, the, the Lord bothered with me more, you know, about the way he got me doing things. He said, watch to see what I do through you sitting down and teaching. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He said, watch to see what I do through you. See, when a person is afraid of being different, yes. you don't be contrary. There's a, there's a difference in being contrary. Mm -hmm. You got to stay within bounds. You got to stay within leadership and teaching. Yes. But you can't turn around. I, I, I'm not going to get with the call of group of the church and think I'm really becoming spiritual. No. Come on. Oh, boy. That's right. That's right. You think you're doing good and all you do is hang around calling people right. in the church. Come on. And you think it's all right. Oh, Why? Because you ain't drinking, smoking, fussing, and cussing. Oh, but in the Lord, it's a whole different life. Yes, it is. You can just get the Holy Ghost and that's all you got is the Holy Ghost. Right. And you, you, got, you came from the world. Mm -hmm. You got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And as far as you go. My God. And God wants you here. Yes. Jesus. You, yeah, you sure ain't here. You, 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 ain't, you ain't drinking, smoking, fuzzing, and cussing. You came to here, but you're supposed to be here. And you you sell it for I spoke in tongues. My Lord. That's right. The Holy Ghost is power to become. Somebody get St. John 1. And 12. Elder, you the second reader? Yes, sir. Read. St. John 1 and 12. Holy Ghost, you ain't in now. It's power to become. Yes. Tell somebody, you got the power. You got the power. Read. But as many, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. He gave you power to become a son of God. Tell somebody you ain't there yet. You ain't there All yet. you got is the Holy Ghost. Holy and you need to recognize your little nasty self. That's right. Sitting in him still in your feelings. Yes, Lord. You need to recognize the power to become a son of God. Thank you, Jesus. I gave you power. Mm -hmm. And you'll sit there and don't mind going back to the old you. Jesus. The way you think. Recognize. Okay, I recognize. You know, I'm here. Thank you, right? That's right. I recognize. Mm -hmm. So therefore, now you have to tap into his system. Yes. And what is his system it consisted of? Mm -hmm. That's what he did. They he came walked up there and had me say, he said, you need to take this. You gotta have a willing mind. That's right. Everything now. Eventually, I probably would have confronted him, but I would have saw some things to make me confront him. Yes. And he didn't know that I was sitting in the living room today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, he didn't know that I was sitting there the day and Keyshawn was over there asleep. And I saw him walking in the yard talking on the phone. And I'm sitting there with the real pastor sitting there and said, okay, all the other brothers in here, he out there walking in the yard on the phone. So we talking. I said to myself, I'm going to have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been a personal conversation, but to me, you know, I said, nah, well, I'm going to have to deal with that. And when, now, notice here, before I go into further so you understand what I'm saying, let's go to 2 Corinthians um, 8 and 12. Read. For if there be first a willing mind, 
it is accepted according to that a man has, and not according to that he has not. So, when a willing mind is a person who really is open to whatever the spiritual concept is. So, before I can confront him, he confronted me. Yes. So that's a sign of a willing mind. Yes, so now, that meant God see innocence. Mm -hmm. Okay, now he see innocence in it, but it, now he need instructions. And instructions is, you should have told me why you gave me that phone. Because yes. he meant well. Uh -huh. Because his others, I had to say, hey, I need to get your phone for 30 days or, mm -hmm. or, or whatever. But, but I didn't have to do that with him. He walked in and said, you need to get this. But in order for that to take place, that meant something went on with the phone that he see, this ain't me and me getting the Holy Ghost ain't gonna work. Thank you, Jesus. So I, I, I don't want this. That's all right. Y'all hear me? Yes. So the problem is not him giving the phone. The problem would be how is he gonna respond when I say, you should have told me why you gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Do y'all understand? Amen. You all understand? Amen. So now I'm attacking the natural man. Some people can't handle the attack of the natural man. I'm attacking your natural man. I need it. That young lady said, uh, uh, sent that message, and it's called, I sit around and, uh, that's the way you want me to do it? It's something to show you. And when I got that message this morning, that was part of him answering me. That was part of him answering me. You know, you want me to continue this way? Yes. And when I got that, oh, okay. He answered me. You, you can't, you can't tap into God and, and think he ain't finna call your cell phone. Uh, come on now. <laughs> God can, can, can talk to you. And, 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 and you could just be standing up and he could just drop something in your spirit. That's right. It's the person who that can kick it out. Mm. Yes. Yes. That's right. This it thought out. came to you and said, oh, you know. <laughs> and like he ain't never heard it. Right. So even when you start uh, feeling a certain way, it's a thought came for you to come to that place. You got to start recognizing it. You got to fight the enemy in a me. Yes. You got to yes. fight the battle yes. inside yes. before it's manifested yes. on the outside. Yes. By the time it's manifested on the outside, you lost on the inside. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. Somebody tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him, you don't know what I'll be fighting on the inside. You know I'll be fighting Jesus. some crazy me yes. stuff. Yes. This ain't got nothing to do with you. It'd be some stuff going on. With, and this is the part I say, please be honest with yourself. Amen. Yes. Don't lie to yourself. Amen. And, and, and no reason. That's why the Lord would have it set up here say, well, uh, you have to establish that his word, you need two or three witnesses. Yes. You have two or three. You can be one of the witnesses. You, a thought can come to you, and then somebody can walk up to you and say that thought. Right. That's confirmation that it's God. Yes. But then you got another person, they need seven or ten of them. That's right. <laughs> they ain't in the Bible. Uh -huh. God ain't finna go through all that. Okay. Thank you. Now, now if, you, if, if two can't do it, because you can be one of the two, so he'll have to wear this thought. This in. And then, so when you hear the teaching, when you hear the word of God come, and then it's, it's a thought or something already attacking you, and then you hear from the word of God, you say, oh, that's God. That's right. Why? Because, man, that's exactly what I'm dealing with. Yes. Thank you. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes, so, so when, when, when the word is being preached, and when the word comes, mm -hmm. you got to recognize, okay, this is this thought already on me. I'm already wrestling with this. Thing. I know I ain't told the pastor nothing. And then when when it come out, you say, oh, that's that's God. Yes. Why? Because I'm, I'm dealing with this right now. And here it comes, right out the teaching, right now. Because I'm talking to somebody right now. Amen. You can ignore me if you want Amen. to. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for it, Lord. You got to be changed by God. Yes. Right. And he will attack you. Yes, Lord. 
Jesus. You will go against your natural man. You sure will. Why? Because it's supposed to be dead. Right. Mm. That's what the baptism right. for. Yes. Amen. We bear it too. Yes. We supposed to be just like him. You die and you rose again. Yes. When you rose again, you rose with power. Yes. You was baptized in the water in Jesus' name. That is a liquid grave. Yes, sir. We bear it the old you. That's why you don't baptize about and their hands sticking up. Right. Or their foot that came about the air. You got to baptize them and that whole body is submerged underwater yes. and then you bring them back up and the Bible says the newness of life. I put myself in position so now the change takes place but that's a process. Yes. You don't just come up and you, oh, I'm here now. No, it ain't. <laughs> it take a few whoopings. That's right. Yes. Tell somebody, God love me. God love me. All these whoopings I done got. Yeah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. Amen. Since he whooped me to this place. That's right. I thank you. I, I didn't know. I, I said to the Lord, I said, I didn't know I know you like this. Yeah. I, I didn't know that I was going to get to know you like this. All that I wanted was just stop sinning. Yeah. I didn't want to die and go to hell. I, know that's right. I didn't know you were going to bring me in him. And know you like this. Thank you, Eyes have not seen, ears not heard. Thank you, Jesus. Love people that don't like you. I ain't know that I had that capacity. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. And I don't think none of us did it for we were saved. Come on, man. If somebody didn't like you, you didn't like them. Amen. Let's be real. Yes, yes, yes. That wasn't even in us. Oh, we didn't even have to do that. Oh, you don't like me? Oh, I don't like you neither. Oh, the, the reason why we ain't have no problem, you stay away from me, I stay away from you. Lord Jesus, right? Amen. Amen. In the church, he said, and he, let's, let's go to Ephesians. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Tell somebody, I want the real thing. I want the real thing. Ephesians, the second chapter. Yes. Thank you, God. Uh, and I believe it's around about the sixth verse. Uh, yes, read. And have raised us up to and, and he did what? And have raised us up to Grandma him. said, I raised you better than that. Yeah. My grandma said, boy, I ain't raised you like that. My mama would, would, would tell me, now, you, you weren't brought up that way. Yes, sir. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. That's right. Now, now grandma and, and, and my mama, them, and I said them, for you educated people, yes, I do still say them. My mama, them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. My mama, them. <laughs> Yeah. They took little passage from the Bible. Boy, I ain't raised you like that. Why? So God talked about raising his children. Sure said. Read 60 verse. What does it say? And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places. He said, now, now I raise you up and make you sit together. We ain't had to do that no more. That's right. <laughs> Man, I don't like you. <laughs> you don't like me neither, so we good. Mm -hmm. i tell you what. Matter of fact, that's why you're supposed to be giving that benediction. May the Lord watch between me and me. Thank you. That's while right. we depart one from another. That's right. Because you're saying, you go your way, oh, and I go my God. way, that's and God right. bless you, but don't you bring your behind around me no more. That's it. You're supposed to be saying that, no benediction to me. I know that's right. May the right. Lord watch between me and thee while we depart from one another. Because that, that, that means we ain't never hooking up again. Come on. <laughs> We, that's telling them, I ain't hooking up with you no more. That's right. And that's what most of us did before we came to church. I ain't hooking up with you no more. Uh-huh. Y'all love the Lord? I Tell somebody, but we here now. But we here now. Thank you, Jesus. 
Go with me to 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. So now there's a system of comfort. There's a system of encouragement that you have to understand that only God can produce. But if you deceive yourself, okay, if I'm, I'm trying to do this thing, because if when you grow, the higher you come up, the less company you're going to have. And, I, and if you got a, you still got a lot of company in the church, then you haven't grown that far. Come on. That's right. Because two can't walk together except they agree. That's right. When you grow to a certain level, you, you're going to drop off these people on this level. Right. And you grow, and then right. you're going to drop off these people on this level. Yeah. Right. Why? And then the higher you go, the less company you're going to have. Right. And then eventually you're going to say, oh, they too deep. That's right. They too deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like the old boy have no fun. Because yeah. what they call fun is carnality. That's what it is. Oh, boy. I don't know what you're talking I, about. I ain't talking about it. There ain't nothing wrong with taking the kids out no. to play. Ain't nothing wrong. I ain't talking about that. Right. Man. So that's not what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a serious relationship with God. Yeah. So now look at God's confidence system. 2 Corinthians 1 4 through 6. What is that? Who comfort us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith you ourselves are comforted. So God. he's saying now, understand your release system. I'm not going to allow you to use whatever you used before you came here to, to, for you to get comfort. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So because whatever you use, that's what you're going to teach. Right, that's it. I'm not going to allow you to go. If, if uh, I told y'all for me to speak in front of people, I had to get, get a little drink or get a little smoke or something that I can, I can uh, say something when I was in the world. He ain't going to let me use that over him. I know that's right. I, I, need, I need a little drink for, for church. Let's <laughs> <laughs> everybody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Because I got me a good bug. God, it ain't going to work like that. They do it for real. Yeah. I know they do. Yeah. They, they're on there preaching and cussing and everything else. Oh, that man. man surprised me the other night. I said, man, my goodness, how in the world? <laughs> he, he was sick. They're going to call himself an apostle. Ooh, wow. I said, well, who that man back in years? <laughs> and the bishop. <laughs> I think they, they, them sisters jumped up and ran, and I took them off. You know, I said, man, I wasn't expecting this from somebody who professing God. Hey, man. I mean, you're going to talk like that. And these people really think they say They do. I'm trying to prevent that from you. That's right. I'm better than this. Because since there's some people think they say mm -hmm. just like they are. Mm -hmm. I want to be rapturable, say. Yes, yes. They say, so who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble? So what? You going through something to help somebody else. Yes. Oh, y'all don't want to receive that kind of stuff. It's true, it's right. It's true. The only thing you look at, do you see what I'm going through? <laughs> Read that fourth verse again. What is it? Who comforted us in all our tribulation? All our tribulation, not some of them. What's up? Okay, now, God, I got this. You know, I got this. I don't need your help right now. I got this one. But the big one, you can't have. Oh God, come on, God, I sure need you. Mm -hmm. The Lord say, I'm gonna deal with all your tribulation, yes. not some of them. Yes. We got some sometimes people. That's right. They handle some things themselves. Uh -huh. And they have let God handle the stuff that they can't handle. Come on, Bishop. God got to handle it all. That's it. Oh, it's going to show if you didn't let God handle it. It will. King Trail going around here looking like a bug jigsaw. <laughs> oh, Lord. With a zombie. I think you ain't that good. Jesus, thank you for the Just give me a minute. I don't know when. I'm going to get there. Bug, buggy, bug, gone. 